Anybody else need to be here? That's it. How many people are actually on the phone making appointments? Raise your hand. Making appointments. Okay. No, that are calling, call. taking calls. Calling, call. yeah. Okay. 17. How many? 17. 17? Including us. Okay, but you are not making appointments, right? Uh, I'm making appointments. You do? Yeah. Okay. So, 17 people are, are on the phone with customers. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. So, I want everybody to focus on what we do here. Okay. When you are ready, you can put it to work. So, we will... No. Today, what we want to do is do a session about overcoming objections. Start looking. <coughs> so we said that our knowledge is divided into three different sections. One, we have to know the speech. From beginning to end, with no objection, we have to know how somebody answers the phone, we talk to them from beginning to end until we set an appointment, with no objection. That is a basic. Everybody must be able to do it very well. That is one. Two. We have to understand the logic of things. We have to understand what is solar. We have to have in our mind a picture of a solar system on somebody's roof. We have to understand what the solar system does. We have to understand how the customer benefits from it. We have to understand that despite the fact that the customer makes a lot of money, they will say no every time. They don't say no to making, to making money. They say no because they are not listening to you. And we have to understand, logically, we have to understand that when we call people, they don't expect <coughs> us to call them. And it takes them time to focus on what we say, so they are not listening to us. And we have to understand that even if we do our job perfectly well, Mark, you can hear me? Yep, loud and clear. Good. Even if they understand us, even if we do everything very well, out of 100 people, 98 will say no. All of these things we have to understand, including the fact that if we want the best chance that the customer will listen to us, we have to talk in a specific voice that have a lot of energy, positive energy, no matter how bad our life is, or we think that it's bad, that doesn't matter. When we talk to the customer, we have to be in a positive voice, positive energy come out of us. We have to talk slow, because when you talk slow, people listen better and understand better. We have to say the words very clearly, and we have to say the words exactly as it is in the script. Exactly. So all this is a basic. In addition, we already know before we started the call that every time we talk to the customer, the customer will give us objections every time. If we know it before we even make the call, we will not be surprised when, we give, when they give us an objection. Right? Because we know. 
if I take <coughs> this and throw it to you, you were not ready. But she didn't know. Because you didn't know. But now I say, listen, I'm going to throw this. Can you catch it? I think so. Okay, get ready. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> but the chance. Now we will practice. So first time there we didn't catch. Let's do again. Okay. One, two, three. There. Here we go. <laughs> now the same thing exactly happens with the custom. If you don't know that they'll give you an objection, you will you have almost no chance to overcome. If you get ready for the objection, you have a better chance. And if you practice, you have a very good chance, just like we did now. Same thing. So, part of our understanding is there will be objections with every call. Even with the buyers? Especially with the buyers. Very good point. The people who will make appointments, they'll make appointments only after they give you objections. All of them. If somebody does not give you an objection and make an appointment, you take that appointment and throw it to the trash. You know that these people don't have Alzheimer's. Maybe they something wrong with their brain because they didn't object. So that Appointment is not good anyway, and we will not want to see them because they cannot make decisions legally. So everyone will give you an objection. Okay? So, naturally, we're afraid of objections. Who like to be rejected? Who like an objection? Usually when people give us an objection, we walk <coughs> away. Right? You go to the bar, you see a young lady, you want to talk to her, and, in, and invite her for a drink. She say, no. <laughs> what do you do? Walk away. Next time you go to the bar, you see a young lady you want to invite for a drink, and she say no, you say, no what? problem. <laughs> But before you let me go, if I can give you a hundred thousand dollars in the next twenty years, did you know I may be able to provide with a hundred thousand dollars in the next twenty years? Now your odds to get that drink is better or worse? It's better. Now you have her attention. And you. And if before you go and talk to her, or you go and talk to him, or you go to whatever, you are prepared that they'll say no, and you already are prepared with the answer, your odds, and you practice it, your odds to be successful are much better. <coughs> right? Yeah. Right. Good. Same thing here with the customers. So what will we do now? We will give some examples. I'll be the agent, and you will help me to be agents. We'll all be agents, and we will all be homeowners. And you will give us objections, and together we will overcome them. Okay? All right. So, you are the homeowner. Give me an objection. What's Emily. your name? Emily. Emily? Emily. Emily. Give me an objection. Not I am Emily, and you are the homeowner. I am not interested. Beautiful. Give me a suggestion for an answer. Um, you can read it. I understand that the you're not interested. I'm Talk to the camera. Recording it. We are recording, recording it. it. And we are recording it. Now we are playing as if we are on a call. Emily is a homeowner. Your name? Harold. Harold is the agent. Emily said, I am not interested. Did anybody tell you that they are not interested before? 
Yes? Yes? In the bar also they told you? <laughs> yes? Maybe if they are blind. If they are so good, they would not. But, not interested. I understand, but I have some information for you that could potentially make you and your family in excess of $100,000 over the next 25 years. Okay, so we want to improve on it. So we want to change that. Okay? And we will write it, and tomorrow we'll have it in large bold letters, like the speech, so everybody can see it from three feet, one meter away. This is how it goes. Excuse me. I understand, Mrs. Smith, that you are not interested. But before you let me go, did you know that if you spend a hundred and fifty or a hundred dollars per month on electricity? the program that I wanted to explain to you about will put in your pocket over a hundred thousand dollars in the next 20 years if you qualify so let me ask you a few questions and see if you qualify and now I ask the question very important to understand. As if she never said she is not interested. You understand? Mm -hmm. okay. That's, we need to write it down, big letters, and start use that objection that way. So, a platform, a procedure is always to acknowledge. I understand. I understand. First of all, I understand. When you say, I understand, what does it do to the homeowner? It uh, makes them feel that uh, comfortable because now you're understanding how they actually feel. Yeah. You empathize. And you show empathy. Yeah, I care. I understand. Now they can relax. And when they relax, they listen to you. If you see many people argue, one doesn't listen to the other. They argue and argue and argue and argue and argue. Nobody listens. But if somebody is argue, if yelling at you or upset at you, just try next time to stand there like that and let them put all the air out. How much air do they have? 30 seconds, maybe. Otherwise, they can argue with you for an hour. You don't say nothing. Just let them talk and do like that. I understand. I understand. You'll see that the argument is ending in 30 seconds. I understand, Mrs. Smith. Now she listened to me because I understand. <clears throat> and I give her a reason to talk to me. And I continue as if she did not say nothing. Right? Always. You acknowledge give the objection, and then continue as if they didn't say nothing. You assume that objection is over. If they bring it back up, you go to the next objection, agree, give them the objection, and continue as if they did not say nothing. And if they bring up another objection, you do the same and the same and the same and the same. Did I say that you, everybody, you will agree to an appointment? No. But two in a hundred will. Two in a hundred is fantastic, right? Every day two. Fantastic. We wish. We wish. Okay. But you have to do it that way. Okay. Per person, two a day, not everybody. No, each day. one. Because you do it exactly like that. But it must be exactly like that. It cannot be almost like that. Almost like that doesn't cut it. Right? Yeah. Water boil at how many degrees? 100. If it's 99 degrees, will the water boil? No. 
one degree less. Nature knows. Same thing here. If you do it perfect, you'll get two out of a hundred. You do it 99%, zero out of a hundred. That's it. You understand? That's it. Okay. Now, <coughs> what's your name? Rowell. Rowell. You will be the homeowner. Okay. Give us an objection. <coughs> I'm not interested. Put me on the do not call list and you're harassing me. Very good. Give us an answer. I understand. Uh, but I'm here calling you to inform you all the information that you need. Okay. I want you to repeat the same of the same rebutted that we did with I'm not interested. I am listen up guy. See how simple it is. I understand very well. And I am very sorry that my platform here did not notify me that you are on the do not call list. I will make a note of it. I'm very sorry. But before you let me go, did you know that the information I give you may put $100,000 or more in your pocket in the next 25 years if you qualify for the program? So let me ask you a few questions to see if you may qualify. You see how it goes to the same thing? You understand? Yes. And then, in this case, I want you to put a note. You make the appointment, <coughs> try to make the appointment, and whatever, put a note. Mrs. said she is in a call list, on a do not call list, and then Sharon, who is in charge of the data, will take that customer out of the list. You understand? Yes. But before that, you try to make an appointment. Right? You see? Okay. Now, you are the homeowner, and you are the agent. Give her an objection. Uh, I don't understand why you're calling me. I already have a solar. You already have a solar. Okay. It's not in your objections. That's a good one. Can I? Can yes. I? All right. Uh, I understand that you already have solar, and uh, we will make the necessary adjustments on our database. However, before you let me go, uh, I'd like to ask you if you knew that you could actually make $100,000 in the next 25 years. Wouldn't you be interested? Of course yes, you would. Pretty good. But they already have a solar. So still get, to give a shot at it. Give a shot at what? At actually uh, still closing an appointment with it. For them. what? Well, it may not be true. No, I mean, it is true. If it's true, then we make We the only say things here that are true. Really? We don't need to lie. No, I mean, it is customer, very true. Whenever they say if they have solar. If he has a solar, here is the answer. I understand, Mr. Smith, that you already have a solar. But before you let me go, did you know that I can give you information about a program? that will put $100,000 or more in the next 20 years in your pocket. Did you know, Mr. Paul, Paul of Title 24? Title 24 was created by the state of California to give you the same exact benefits that solar does for other products that reduces water and power. Same exact product, same benefits. 
cool the roof. And you will learn about it. Energy sufficient windows. Energy efficient windows. Special tax codes. And astrotherm. These products and more, like insulation. The state of California recognized as reducing water that is in short supply in California. Yes, I know that this year in California we had a lot of rain, but on average we don't. So ask what it, cool roof, energy efficient windows, insulation, Texacon, and more products are recognized by the state of California under Title 24 that give you the same benefit exactly as solar. So, if you have solar, fantastic. Now you go through the other products and see if they are interested in any of those. Question. So, write it down and learn about it. That's why we do that. Yes, but I have a question. So, yes? Yes. Uh, with these different companies with solar, uh, do we give uh, uh, the same, I mean, the, the same benefits or the programs? Is it the same? No, no. I mean, the, the title tw 24. 24 is going to be uh, on top of uh, the CSI okay. or the California State uh, Solar Initiative. Okay. So, th this is additional. Uh, pro uh, this is a, uh, a program on top of the California yeah, Solar Initiative. So actually, actually, listen, the California State Initiative is another name for Title 24. Okay. What do you get in Title 24 in the Solar Initiative? The state of California put aside a chunk of money and say everybody will pay taxes to that fund. And we want to give this money to people who reduce water and power. How do you reduce water and power consumption? One way is solar. That's what you focus on. But other ways is roof, roof windows, window, insulation, right. texture coating, astroturf. Astroturf is synthetic grass, so you don't have to water. So you don't have to water the lawn. All of them give you 30% tax benefit. Rebate. Okay. That means if you make if you buy a solar system for thirty thousand dollars. Nine thousand. The state of California say nine thousand of this don't pay us taxes. Pay it towards here. So you only owe on the solar now twenty one thousand dollars. And the finance, there are special finance, special payment plans for this, and for roofs, and for Texacot, and for windows, all of them, the same. Okay. So, just a that question. will allow you to make payments on this that are very convenient with no down payment. Yeah, but you don't say to the customer, just say there are payment plans specially. In addition to the tax credit, you have very good payment plans for this program. Sure, yes. Me. Can anybody who transition to solar and other improve, home improvement qualify for that tax or investment tax credit, or they need to, to Apply file? For uh, no. Everyone can qualify. As we, as when we go to the house, not everybody can qualify. Exactly. That's why we go to their house to see if they can qualify. So not Which, everyone can qualify for that 9,000? Not everyone can qualify to solar. Not everyone can qualify to anything else. So in live transfer, we are asking a few questions to see if you may qualify. If we decide yes, we go to the house and do some more checking. And the agent in the house will determine and will call the agent in the house will call the engineers from the house and ask them if we can put solar there. And we'll call the finance people to see if they qualify for the finance. Only from the house we can do that. With a customer on the line. 
and then we will determine. And just point of clarification. So uh, the tax credit will be deducted from the income tax or from the purchase price of the equipment? No, we we'll, we we'll, no. They pay this. They'll pay this, right? The tax credit from the bottom line. If you owe the government this year twenty thousand dollars, right? Now you will owe them only eleven thousand. Okay. This they'll give you and say only towards this. Yep. You cannot put it and buy a car with it. Right. You cannot buy chocolate. You can buy energy efficient product only. Okay. And they, the finance company, the special, will ensure that this go towards here. Otherwise, they will not finance it. Right. Because if they will finance it and it doesn't go here, they'll be, uh, they'll be in trouble. Okay. In trouble. You understand? Question. Okay. Citing on that example that the, co the homeowner already has a solar, and then, as you have mentioned earlier, that we can um, offer it the other products that we are offering for um, energy or cost-effective uh, cost products. So, um, if the um, homeowners already have that 9,000 tax um, credit, will, will it also still apply? Or is it just a one-time offer? It's one time. Only one time you can do it. So, um, since they already have solar and then they uh, took advantage of the other um, energy saving. No, it's apply one time for every product. One time for every product? Yes. So um, if uh, she already has tax credit on the solar that she purchased... And now you right do roof? You, you do, do roof, for you the do roof. the... Turf. Very good question. Now it's for the roof. But if 30% of the roof, it's of the roof purchase. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever you invest on the roof, whatever you if invest on the window... If it's 10,000 the roof, you get 3,000. Yes. You understand? Then windows. If it's fifteen thousand, you get five thousand. You understand? If it's astrotech, it's water. Same thing. Now you can the customer can can do solar plus roof plus windows yes, uh, plus this plus is a hundred thousand dollars and have thirty thousand dollars. Now if they don't if they don't need thirty thousand this year, they can use a little bit this. They can use it over five years. Oh, make spread it, it out. Spread it down. Because let's say they only owe the government 5000 They can do 5000 every year for five years. Oh, five. Oh. Very, very good. I tell you, this is fantastic program. Why? Because the state want to clean the air and use less water. That's why. Simple. So, many times people tell you, <coughs> I already have solar. Yes. No, they don't have solar. They want you off the line. Mm -hmm. yep. Because a hundred companies call it. And they already know. If I say I have solar, they go away. They don't go away. Right? Okay, good. Good objection. We add it to everybody's show. Good. You are the homeowner. And you are the agent. Give us an objection. My neighbor had already had solar. And it looks ugly, and I don't want that in my house. I do understand, but before you let me go, it, it's a lot of program that it, uh, it's changed a lot of things right now, and we have a lot of programs which Just is... Just a second. Okay, it's okay. Before you let me go, did you know that? Always start like that. It's okay. That what? All things change, and we have uh, many programs which is suitable for you right now. All I'm asking is a few minutes of your time, as I was saying. No. Okay, so, good. Did you know that if you qualify, I can make you always what's in it for them? What's in it for them, money? Did you know that if you qualify, I may be able to put in your pocket over a hundred thousand dollars in the next 20 years. Always start like that, no matter what. And, now that you mention that it's ugly on the neighbor's roof, tell me please, now you continue. Tell me please, sir, is the solar in the front or the back of the house? Uh, in the front. In the front. Because if it was in the back, you could not see it, right? 
And if you don't see it, it's not ugly. It's okay. Right? Today, and then you go to what you want to see. Today, today, with the new technology, there are many ways and options to put beautiful panels on the roof. And also, to put the panels in an area that you don't see them. So they are not ugly anymore. Right? Because you don't see them. And now you continue as if he did not say anything. Right? You over, you give the rebuttal and you continue. Good? Okay. One more and then we need to go back to work. So, you will be the homeowner. And you will be the agent. I am planning to sell my house, and then that's n none of your business. Uh, I understand, but before you let me go, did you know that... Um, I'm sorry, I, I was... It's okay. Uh, I understand, but before you let me go, I just want to know first, if how many... Um, how many... How long? how long did you stay in your house, and when are you going to second. live? Always go through the full thing. I understand. Like a robot. Right. But before you let me go, did you know, did you know, did you know that I can make you a hundred? if they didn't say nothing. Most of the people who tell you that they're going to sell the house and it's none of your business, they are just saying it because they don't think that what you have to offer is valuable. And if and if they do, we'll see. Did you know? that I can make you $100,000 or more, if you qualify. So what will you answer to that? You should answer, but I told you that I'm selling the house. I understand. Did you know? If you have a solar system on your roof when you sell the house, it is very attractive to the buyers because they are buying the house with income. They are buying a house that the electricity cost is very low or nothing. So let's say you are paying today $150 a month. And after we put the solar on, you'll pay ten, twenty dollars, whatever it is, or nothing. If somebody comes to buy a house and you tell them, look, the electricity here costs nothing, will they like this better than your neighbor's house without the solar? Yes. yes. Of course. It's like having a room that you rent for $150 a month. But the tenant is never there, never complain. Never ask you to fix anything. Is it good? Fantastic. So if you want to sell your house, you should paint it and make it look nice. You should have an income on the roof so you can get more money for the house. And now that you finish that, you continue and ask as if they didn't say nothing. You understand? So you understand it. And we will do more sessions, but we also need to go back to work. But knowing how to overcome objection and doing them very well, like we did now, is very important. So what we need to do is re type everything, type it <coughs> in large letters, and practice it. And we will do more sessions until we finish with all the objections, because there are maybe 15. Then the customers repeat themselves. And we know very well how to do it. So if you do live transfer, you use it to upgrade the lead. And if you make an appointment, you use it to get <coughs> the appointment. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.